The Hello People is the biggest version of the internet. Tell me, how many times in your life were you tired of playing with random idiots in your team? How many times you told yourself to never solo queue again? For the last three years, I was trying to make a constant pre-made, but all of the teams didn't last more than one month. If you want to know why, the link to this video with explanations is gonna be in the description. But today, I'm gonna be telling you about the team that I recently created, what we already achieved and what we're aiming for in the future. By the way, I wanna get back to constant streaming, so make sure to follow my Twitch if you wanna see our team progress live, cause that's what I'm mostly gonna be streaming. Also, I'm gonna be showing you our mistakes, highlights and a lot of more interesting stuff stuff, but this is pilot episode, so I'm also gonna be talking a little bit about how I was searching for players to fit in my team. A link in the description gives up to 15% deposit bonus. So. In one of my recent videos, I told you that I was searching for players for my team, all the requirements were said and a lot of people wrote to me on Twitter. As a YouTuber, I probably could have just picked up players with highest facet elo and we would be good to go. But no, I promise that the key factor is gonna be more mental factor and not just statistics and numbers, cause I want it to be interesting. First of all, in applications I was paying a lot of attention to how you describe yourself as a player, for example this. this or this those applications i consider unacceptable first of all you can already tell that these people don't take it serious and i said i need 100 percent serious and motivated people but even if they do they can't even formulate their thought in one sentence okay maybe two or three sentences but not spamming word by word i hope you understand what i mean when I have chosen 5 players that would fit for my requirements, I talked to each and single one of them about their motivation, their goals and also I was asking 2 very important questions. Number 1 was how do you practice, because it was like a trap. If person would have said that he doesn't practice, it means that he is not motivated and I would not take him for this team. Okay, yeah, I get it. Um, and uh, another question that I have is uh, how and how often do you practice? Oh, shooting bots. I deathmatch. I deathmatch 1,000 kills a day. So, combination of AWP, AK, and pistols. I, I've been doing it for the past two months, every day, yeah? Because, uh, as I've said, when those two guys started showing, um, you know, that they want to leave, I said, you know, actually, can you give me another chance? I will do whatever is in my power to just keep playing with you. So, I started deathmatching like crazy. And then, even after they left, it sort of stayed with me and I like death matching. I've been doing it, you know, for a while. You could I have like what 130,000 on the AK and 80,000 on the op. And the second question was what do you expect from your future teammates? How do you want them to be? That's why I talked to each person for a pretty long time just to understand their personalities. I mean, I give them some a piece of constructive criticism and they take it. That's what I want. That's what I expect from people because if you want to achieve something, if you want to be successful as a team, you should not be egotistical. You should care about what other, uh, you should care about other people's opinions because if you don't, then yeah, there is no success to be found. After three days of searching and talking to players, I managed to make a team and we started playing. Our first priority was not to rush and get team chemistry because becoming a team is a long process and you need to trust the process. As our first map, we decided to take overpass. On the second day, two or three hours before the practice, I get a message from two guys. They said, since we have time before practice, how about we go together on offline server and learn some smokes? Bro, I was so happy, it was the first time not just me asking each and single player please get online, we need to play, we need to play, please, but them making the initiative. So we went on overpass, since we decided that this is gonna be our first map to practice together, and just spent one or two hours practicing smokes, flashes and nades. 
When the practice time came, we basically just spent 40 minutes talking about our defaults, nades that we're gonna throw, and of course, two or three simple rounds that we can do. After that, we just went into gaming. Now I'm gonna tell you a bit about our goals. We decided to play Pugs just to perfectly learn our rounds and build team chemistry, and also to grow individually because we kinda have a skill difference in a team. Also, we decided that our first goal is gonna be getting every player to level 10, but after learning three maps out of competitive map pool, we're gonna play one or two tournaments. When we started playing Face It, the only problem were 3000 ELO tryhards that were queuing with lower levels, just to farm ELO against lower level players, but they didn't know who they're playing against. Nice. 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 One guy's mocked up connector now. I'm not sure why. I keep that short, by the way. Maybe we should go B. Yeah, let's go B, let's go B. Let's, let's go, go B. Control. Stay alive, yellow. One, two, one, short. I am. Yeah, just. Short, nice. Right. Nice, guys. Good, Good job. Yeah. I'm ready. Maybe not. We should go, we should go. I flash over. How bad, yeah? I'm planting for you. Oh, oh boy, spikes. Oh, and we'll crossfire our rings. CT. CT. Last CT, last CT. Mine! <laughs> Mine! Can you guys from B come with us? We'll let's go. Tuck, 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 tuck. Four? Three? Oh, good job. Good job. Hello, YouTube. Hello. Sure. Yeah, I know. How do. Yes, now we got him. My <laughs> boxes. It's still on. Yes. He's across me. Nice. Nice. He tore their height. Yes. Hit like your my mother hits me. Yes. Very hard. In the eye. In the eye. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded so sad when yeah. he said Yeah, eye. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Flashing once? They're not on site, they're in toilets, they're in toilets. We need to create uh -huh. a small pole. Yeah, I'm smoking. Nice. Smoking the bomb. Clunk, 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 clunk. Nice. Nice. Against freaky, against freaky Elo. Against freaky Elo Treyhard. Oh. Ah, easy. Gay dames, man. Yes. We won one game against 3000 ELO tryhards in the first day of playing, also won one game against decent level 10s and lost one game to full Kazakhstan 3000 ELO premade, but it's okay. It all happened on the first day of playing, I was so happy, finally the players are good, not toxic and supportive, they have a lot of time for playing, and the next day I come home, open up the discord group and I see this. Listen up guys, I'll be straightforward with you all, I honestly don't think I'm the right fit for this project, as much I initially thought so, my mind has changed, partially contributing to in the evidence of work I've recently been tasked with as my company has landed a contract for a big housing estate, which means I have to stay at work for longer hours till I get it all done. So thanks for giving me a shot and all the best in the future, hopefully you can figure something out. 
And the second guy wrote this. He asked how often are we going to play. I said that mostly every evening, two or three games of Face It at least. He said that this is too much for him and he needs two or three days break and he can't play for the team. It all happened on the second day of the team. You can't even imagine how mad I was. How do you want success if you want to take two or three days off without practicing? You saw the requirements. I literally said that I can take people who only play at least three hours daily. And then you leave and you say that you can't play for the team because we want to practice mostly every evening, really? So I spent three more days searching for new players and I took one friend of mine and one young guy whose application was fitting all the requirements, but he is 50 at the time, that's why I didn't pick him for the first time, but now it's all good. Now we are a team of positive and motivated players, we all work on our way to success and I'm happy to have what I have right now. Playing in a team for me gives a lot of responsibility, I want to be a leader, so I gotta work on my individual performance, map and grenades knowledge and of course mental stability. I'm planning to release one episode of our progress per month, so if you want to see more team content make sure to check out my Twitch where I'm gonna be streaming our team gameplay. Also we don't have a name yet so write down in a comment section if you have a funny name for us. Really appreciate you guys watching this video, let's try to get it to 7000 likes, Virgin Lord out.